These days, one of the terms that's come into popular use, even in the mainstream, is the present moment or mindfulness. And I think there's so much uh, misunderstanding about these terms. A lot of people think that if I'm in the present moment, then I have to be right here, centered, or completely still. And the term is derived from this notion of mindfulness, which comes from the early teachings of the Buddha, and you also find in the yoga tradition. And the term mindfulness is an English translation of the Pali word sati, or the Sanskrit word smriti, which is a verb which means to remember, to come back to what's actually in present experience. Uh, mindfulness, or being mindful, is quite a good translation of this verb uh, to remember, to remember what's important, to remember what's on our path. And this question comes up is, how do I be mindful, but also think about my future, or plan for the future, or how to be mindful when I'm thinking about the past. And the Buddha talked about prospective mindfulness and retrospective mindfulness. So one can be mindful as one's aware of the future, as one's planning, thinking, creating, trying, working. And one can be mindful also of the past. So this is really important because sometimes we think about our past and we think about the past as something that truly existed once. And we don't see really from a meditator's perspective that you can only experience the past in the present moment. So if you ask someone, how are you experiencing the past? We can see how we're structuring our experience of the past through the filter of the present moment. In other words, our lives can only happen moment to moment they can't happen any other way. So what does it mean to be mindful or to be fully in the present moment, but to see that as a process of being intimate with the flow of how things happen, not with some ultimate reality that's eternal and, and fixed. So mindfulness really has to do with activity, with walking, with talking, with eating, with engaging in uh, you know, conversation or what have you. Mindfulness includes everything. It's about being present with what's actually going on, but not in a stiff or, or a fixed way. There, there's nothing worse than hanging out with someone who's come back from a long meditation retreat, and you invite them over for dinner, and you ask them to help you, you know, chop carrots for a stew or a salad, and they really slowly start chopping the carrot. And you know, that's, it's wonderful, and it's really important to be able to slow down and watch your experience like that. But we also wouldn't get any, anything done. And so I think these days there's this idealization, probably because we're so busy, that meditative stillness is really the kind of ultimate form of mindfulness. But that's not how the Buddha described mindfulness. The Buddha was an action kind of guy, and he really talked about mindfulness as a kind of engagement practice. I think a better translation of mindfulness, rather than just being aware of the present moment, would be generosity. The, 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 the street level of mindfulness, or what it looks like in people's lives, really devoted to practice, is the blossoming, the cultivation, the flourishing of generosity, a generous spirit. When we're less concerned with ourselves, when we're really in an embodied way involved in what's actually happening in present experience, the, the, the fact is we are more generous. I think maybe the most generous thing we can do is just to really give our attention to what's going on right in front of us. Not what we think is going on, but what's actually happening. So I encourage uh, people when they're defining mindfulness not to get caught up just in this idea of fixed still concentration, which I think is a really important thing to learn. We all need to learn it. But a kind of relaxed awareness and, and movement with what's going on in present experience, which is great to do when you're in the kitchen and when you're walking and when you're in urban environments. and. Um, this is something our culture really needs right now. How to be intimate with one another 
how to really give people our face, how to really give people our attention, how to listen deeply. This is the practice of mindfulness.